That's another one. They all came from Twitch. YouTube paid Tim the Tapman and other dudes millions of dollars to come remove yourself from Twitch and come over here. They signed a contract. On top of that, they're making money and their, their donations are sick. You want to hate on people's donations? Go hate on them. Go troll them. See, I'm telling you about people that nobody really knows on this part of the internet. The poor sector, respectfully. Even though there's some good people here and people of wealth too, not just, but some people don't know the internet the way I know it and don't understand what I'm doing. And you're dumb. I'm trying to bring you on a journey to success, but you don't see it because you don't see yourself doing that. I didn't see myself doing none of that either. You're not an entertainer. You're a loser. You just want to be nobody for the rest of your life. When you're given a golden opportunity. So, if you want to really learn YouTube, go to my tech channel. T-E-K, the number four, and R-E-K, bro. So you can stop guessing because you don't know YouTube, bro. And you don't know the rules and regulations. You don't know what really earns an income on YouTube and what don't because you don't do this. I work at YouTube. I have meetings with YouTube. I sit there with them. Everybody knows that that knows me except probably you that just got here. I have a gig there, bro. I've helped hundreds of people grow online. I've generated more of an income helping people grow online than actual videos. I've sold channels. We was in the business of growing ch channels and selling them. That could be done. That's a thing, real thing that happens. Facts. So with that being said, you got to know what you're talking about. So anyway, what happened is Dr. Disrespect that I laugh at some people when they be like, yeah, in order to make money, you gotta... I'll be like, this nigga don't even know. He thinks he knows YouTube. Like, trying to figure out because you're in another man's pocket, trying to figure out how much money another dude is making and how much could you make, then just start making videos, bro, and find out. <laughs> you heard? That's it. Because nobody gets paid the same on YouTube. Everybody gets paid different. And don't ever let yourself think that because this dude has 300,000 subscribers. Yo, he's getting to the bag. No, he's not. Because he got 2 million views. Yo, he getting paid with them videos. No, he's not. No, he's not. View count, subscriber count do not equal money. Facts. You got 40 million, 40 million views. That shit means nothing. It's confusing to the eye that don't understand the analytics and the funds of YouTube and how it really works. He can have 10 million views. You can have 10,000. And your income is way bigger than his 10 million views. Facts on any day. You don't know YouTube. You think you know. You don't know. You need to go sign up for Tech for Rec. We're doing courses, webinars, all that to show you how to grow on these platforms. This is something I've been doing for years, helping other platforms grow. This just didn't start up yesterday. This been this way. It's, it's, it's spelled just like that. Not the actual word tech. We different. But anyway, after this, that's where I'm going to Tech for Rec. I'm going to be live for a few over there showing people how to grow online, taking my time out. A whole different warpath, a whole different show. So, don't matter what you do, you don't know YouTube, bro. You don't you don't know. I actually study. I have a certificate. I'm certified. I went to the YouTube Academy. These are all facts. Everybody knows that, except the people that just tuned in. I'm certified in journalism. I'm certified in analytics. I'm certified to teach you how to grow on these platforms. Facts. So with that being said, uh, the Twitch lady, right? Damn, bro, the Twitch lady. We got to get over. Oh, so Dr. Disrespect and Tim the Tapman, when he got when he got banned, 
Tim the Tapman came over. They got together. So now they take both of their audience and incorporate. Then another dude gets banned from Twitch. Oh, no. YouTube hired him, too. Snatched him up. YouTube is just taking Twitch's workers. Like, boom, come here. Right? And giving these streamers millions of dollars because they wanted to boost their gaming section. Right? Which, that's going to come. Like, there's YouTube gaming already. There's Facebook gaming. But YouTube is going to turn into a whole... There's more money in gaming than any than any probably other thing you ever seen in your life. <laughs> You're just lost, right? And you, you do things for free. And it's cool. That's you, right? And the gaming costs so much. If you're trying to get a computer, a whole setup the way we all do. I spend thousands of dollars on my setup. Like, thousands, my dude. Facts. Some people got a $2 million setup, a $1 million setup. You can just look it up. Type it. You'll see it. <laughs> Facts. Uh, uh, uh. So, with that being said, another guy came over and they started helping each other grow. The, the, Defect that we have as the peoples, we don't help each other do that. We stay away from each other. So I don't look for my content creators that I know on these platforms for any help from them. I, if anything, I'm the help to them. <laughs> and other than that, I don't look for no help from no other content creator over here. Like, let's work together. Let's do this. It, it doesn't work that way. So I like to deal with people that's outside of my race, outside of uh, uh, Puerto Rican and probably even blacks. Like, Facts, because other people treat you better always than your own kind, bro. It's always your own kind that's out to screw you for some reason. So if you think it goes based on race, I'm nah, bro. So some of the best people that I've met online and all over the world, and today we great friends, are some of these white people that I've dealt with on the internet. And today, they'll be right here at my door in two seconds if I call them. So anyway, the original band was reported related that her displaying... NSFW content on her stream. After clicking the link, she should not have clicked. This is typically a relatively minor issue that will lead to a 24 hour or perhaps three day ban. However, when you threaten to commit mass violence that will likely lead to a woo, permanent ban from the platform for obvious reasons. Hello. The comments led to calls from fans, online users for the willingness to check the streamers. All right. So when she said that, it started a frenzy. The threats of violence against Twitch headquarters justifiably caused alarm online. Claims that she didn't mean the threats. Situations like this have happened in the past. In 2018, this is the lady I'm talking about. Oh, no, is it her? Yeah, this is the lady I was just talking about. She shot up YouTube headquarters, bro. A lot of things have happened that people don't know. Because her views were going down. Like, Hassan and them be lying. Like, yo, they playing with my views, bro. You got to share this video. YouTube is not in the business of slowing down nobody's video. That is a fucking lie. And I could tell you because I sit there with them at times. At least once a month we've been doing it lately. They not in the business of slowing down nobody's video. If your videos are being slowed down, it's because you're not working or because you keep doing the same shit. And people are probably getting tired of you. You're fucking boring, poppy. <laughs> Facts. So, with that being said. If my whole objective is to generate an income with ad revenue and from watch time. And I have people on my platform and that's how I get paid when people view you. Why the fuck would I stop you from fucking people seeing you? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> These dudes think they, they, they play you with that so you can share it and all that. Instead of sincerely just say, yo, if you support, just share it, bro. 
But to play your people like they stupid, like, yo, YouTube is trying to censor me because I'm the next Malcolm X or whatever my dude, you bugging. Malcolm X shoes fit you, you humongous, bro, like clown shoes. Martin Luther King shoes fit you even bigger. I've shopped in shoes fit you fucking mad big. Stop it, bro. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh. Check this out. She didn't mean the threats. Situations like this have happened in the past. In 2018, YouTube headquarters was shot up by a woman who was reportedly angry that the company over her videos being censored. So the lady in 2018, this is what I was talking about, was the fact. She said that they were censoring her videos, bro. So she ran into YouTube and wet it. That's crazy, right? Don't ever do something like that, guys. These things are very bad. This is this was all over the place, you know? Don't ever do that, bro. So this is when people start living out and you underestimate who has the capability or the ability to be a monster, right? On this day, a lot of people look at her. If you go look at the lady that did the, the shootings, they look humble, bro. But what does that's gangster to some dudes. That's not gangster to me. Catching somebody by surprise and blaming them for your defects of character and for why you're and for your uh being a failure and not being successful in life is not something you want to do. If you're entertaining and people want to tune into you, there's nobody that can stop you. Your videos being censored, I very much doubt it. So innocent people got shot up there. And you know, guess where she's at now? <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> 